Hey boys and girls. Today we are going to classify and organize triangles. So we talked about polygons. Polygons are any figure that has straight sides that are closed. Any closed straight sided figure is a polygon. So a triangle is one type of polygon that we have. We are pretty familiar with triangles. We know that triangles have three sides, three angles. Another word that we've used that you may um, understand now are vertices. Where those lines meet are called vertices. So they also have three vertices. We can classify triangles by their sides or by their angles. So remember we talked about angles as being right, 90 degrees acute, less than 90 degrees. So I'm going to write right, <clears throat> 90 degrees, looks like an L. Acute, less than 90, looks kind of like this. And obtuse, greater than 90. So we're going to look at our triangles, look at their sides, look at their angles, and try to classify them. Alright, so let's look at this first one. It says the house shown is called an A-frame house. A-frame, looks like an A. Architects use triangular shapes in many building designs. So we see all of our triangles, and it says group the triangles according to their attributes, their characteristics, how you would describe them. All right, now, there's not one specific way that you can do this. You can think of probably lots of different ways that you could group them. Now, you wouldn't say, well, we'll put all the triangles in one group. Well, they're all triangles. So we're gonna have to group them and see what their differences or similarities are. So we could look at their sides or their angles. So let's look at their sides, all right? So this triangle A, the sides are 10, 9, 11, 8, 8, 3, 10, 10, 10, 24, 10, 26, 7, 7, 10, 19, 9, 11, 20, 11, 11. You may notice something. Some triangles have all the same length. Some triangles have all three different lengths. And some of them have two that are the same. And that's one of the ways that we're going to characterize these triangles. So, we can say, or if we're going to talk about them by their sides, we're either going to have equilateral, isosceles, or scalene. Equilateral means all the sides are equal. Isosceles has two sides equal. And scalene means no sides are equal. And we'll talk about this more on the next page. So I'm going to put them into some groups. So I'm going to have my equilateral triangles, ones with equal sides, and that would be C. I'm going to mark it out. That's it. Okay, let's do scalene. Remember, scalene has no equal sides. That'd be A, because they're all different. 883, 8, 24, 26, 10. That'd be D. F. Alright, and then isosceles has two equal sides, so that's going to be 
D because of my eight and eight. B because of seven and seven. And G because of 11 and 11. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the page. It says the angles of roofs on buildings can form many different types of triangles. Complete the tables by classifying the triangles by angle measures and side lengths. Write acute, obtuse, or right, then isosceles, scalene, or equilateral. Okay, so just like we discussed um, our angles or our side lengths, we can also talk about our angles. So our angles, like they said, are either acute, greater than zero, less than 90, obtuse, greater than 90, or right. So I'm going to write it right here. And just like the sheet that y'all have, right has one right angle, an acute has all acute angles, and an obtuse has one obtuse angle. So let's look at this one. Our angles are 71, 50, and 59. Since they are all less than 90, that's going to be an acute triangle. Let's look at its sides. 10, 11, 9. They're all different. No congruent sides. So we could say this is an acute scaling triangle. Okay, next one. We have a right angle, 45 and 45. So if it has a right angle, it is called a right triangle by its angles. And let's look at the side, 7, 7, 10. So that means isosceles because it has two congruent sides. All right, um, this one, 60, 60, 60. That means acute, they're all less than 90. 10, 10, 10. That means it's equilateral because they're all 10. And this last one, 30, 90, 60. It didn't tell me 90, but I know that square means 90, so that has to be right. My side's 24, 10, and 26, so that is scaling. They're all different. And let's look at this one. We've got 79, 22, 79. They're all acute. They're almost, but they're all less than 90. 883 means isosceles because two of the sides are equal. 16, 144, and 20. See how big it is? That one is obtuse because it has one angle larger than 90. And 9, 19, 11 means scaling. They're all different. There's none congruent. And angle measures here, we have 25, 25, 130. So that is also obtuse. 11, 11, 20 means isosceles. Okay, so this says, what do the angles of the right triangles and the obtuse triangles have in common? Right and obtuse. One thing I notice is they all have one angle 90 degrees or greater. Is it possible to draw a triangle that is both obtuse and equilateral? Can we make an obtuse triangle that also has three equal sides? That is something we cannot do. And you can look at these obtuse triangles that we have here you'll notice that 
these are all this one has three different lengths this one has two and these acute you can see that there if they're acute they are not um, they're not going to be able to be equilateral and obtuse sorry I was looking at acute equilateral like this if you have an equilateral triangle, if all sides are equal, all angles must be acute. Okay, so that is our lesson for today. I want you to go ahead to your homework and complete that.